On the road of life, you're always going to encounter detours. And the only thing you can do is to embrace it and ride it out. In my life, I've had my share of detours. And one of the most significant detours for me was getting divorced and later having my mother pass. It really changed my life and put certain things into perspective. During the evenings with my mom in the hospital, she said something to me that really stuck with me. She told me to dream big and try to live out those dreams because those are the moments in life that mattered. I was really too caught up in the daily grind to consider that idea. But I decided in that moment that I would work towards a more simple life, one that made me happy and was truly authentic to who I am. One of the first things I did after that was to go get my motorcycle license. I had dreamed of riding a motorcycle since I was a child. And at 50, I finally did it. I fell in love with that moment where machine and man become one. In 2015, I bought my first bike. It was an Indian scout. Indian, the company, was about to go under, but decided to give the scout, which was a 1930s bike, a second life. I thought it was perfect for me because I was trying to live what I thought was my second life as well. I spent hours on that bike and worked through a lot of emotional pain. In some ways, I really, truly believe it saved me. During that time of getting into riding, I was in a serious relationship, but sadly we decided to part ways on another detour. And at that time, I parted with most of my possessions to try to move on and start over. In that process, I made a poor decision, an emotional decision of parting with the scout. As soon as I saw someone drive off with it, I knew it was the wrong decision and have regretted it ever since. I let it go and I started focusing on the little things, trying to live life that made me truly happy. Years later, I met a woman, who is now my wife, and we both began focusing on living simple and staying true to ourselves. No more things that grind us down. I still don't know how she did it, but on my birthday, she surprised me with that same bike I had missed so much. The Indian I had sold years back, it was in the same condition, and the paperwork never left my name. It was like it was meant to be mine all along. Life affords you a second chance. And if you're really lucky to get that chance, grab onto it with both hands and write it out. 